Hello everyone, welcome back to our Lakshmi's Physics classes. In this video, I am going to explain about the parallelogram law of vector addition. Here, I am considering the two vectors. So, this is vector A and this is vector B. So, both are kept at an angle theta. So, here we formed a parallelogram. So, this is equal to this. Now, the resultant vector is this. So, which is R bar. Let this point be O and A is already there. P, this point Q and R is the resultant vector. So, we will take it as S and here Sn is a normal drawn on OP. Okay. If this theta is an angle, so here is also angle is theta. And let alpha is the angle between resultant vector and A bar. So now we are going to find the magnitude and the direction of this resultant vector. So we know that R bar is equal to A bar plus B bar. So now we are going to find the magnitude and the direction of the resultant vector by using the parallelogram law of vector addition. So here let A bar and B bar are two vectors and theta is the angle between A bar and B bar. Okay. Now from the triangle OSN, look at this OSN. So this is a right angle triangle. So we can use a Pythagoras theorem. So using Pythagoras theorem. We can write it as hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Okay. Here hypotenuse is OS. So OS whole square is equal to one side is ON and the other side is SN. Okay. Let it be equation number one. So now we are going to find ON and SN. ON and SN separately then we will substitute in this equation. To find out for the ON. So ON is equal to look at this ON is nothing but OP plus PN. OP plus PN. So here ON is equal to OP is nothing but vector A. So I am writing A bar plus PN. Let it be equation number 2. So let's find out the value of Pn and then we will substitute in equation number 2. So for that consider from this triangle Spn. Look at this Spn. So we are going to find out this Pn value here. So from this cos theta is equal to. So we know that the formula adjacent side by hypotenuse. So cos theta is equal to adjacent side is here Pn and hypotenuse is here this Ps. Ps is nothing but here B bar. Okay. So that implies Pn is equal to B cos theta. So this value we got it as B cos theta. Okay. Now let it be equation number 3. Now Substitute equation number 3 in equation number 2. Look at this equation number 2. If you substitute ON is equal to A bar plus in the place of PN we are substituting this. B cos theta. Let it be equation number 4. Okay. So now we got only ON value to substitute in equation number 1. So we have to find the SN value now. So for that from triangle SPN. Look at this. SPN. 
sin theta is equal to we know that sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so sin theta is equal to opposite side is sn look at this sn hypotenuse b bar so that implies sn is equal to b sin theta let it be equation number 5 now substitute equation number 4 and 5 in equation number 1 so here sn and on values in this equation so let's see this so os whole square is equal to O n square. O n is nothing but here a bar plus b cos theta. A bar plus b cos theta whole square plus and S n is nothing but b sin theta. b sin theta whole square. Okay. Now here O s is nothing but look at this. O s is nothing but resultant vector. So which is r square which is equal to look at this this is in the form of a plus b whole square so what is the formula a square plus b square plus 2 a b apply here so a square plus b square cos square theta plus 2 a b cos theta plus here apply the square inside so which is b square sin square theta so now r square is equal to a square plus here look at this here and here b square is common so take it as common b square so here here it is sin square theta plus here cos square theta plus here this is 2 a b cos theta that's it let it be equation number 6 now that implies r square is equal to see here a square plus b square the sin square theta cos square theta value is 1 plus here 2ab cos theta that implies r square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta so that implies the magnitude of r is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta under root. So this will give the magnitude of the resultant vector. So this equation gives the magnitude of r bar. Okay. So this can also be written as a bar plus b bar magnitude which is equal to r bar which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta under root. So this is the magnitude of the resultant vector. So let's find the direction of the resultant vector now. In direction of the resultant vector r bar so here look at this see r bar is making an angle alpha with the a bar so always we use tan theta for finding this so here alpha is there so tan alpha is equal to triangle osn so from triangle osn tan alpha is equal to opposite side by adjacent side so tan alpha is equal to opposite side is sn upon here adjacent side is op plus pn okay so tan alpha is equal to sn is nothing but this already we found sn value that is here we found b sin theta so sn value substitute now b sin theta upon op is nothing but vector a from here to here and pn is b cos theta so or we can also write alpha equal to tan inverse of b sin theta by a bar plus b cos theta this gives the 
direction of the resultant vector i hope this is clear to you please like the video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching this video